apologize for that. Okay, so we're back. We're in the third part for the video of talking about Estar Day, Easter in disguise. And we're looking at the Queen of Heaven. So the pomegranate is a fruit that is full of seeds on the count. It has been supposed that employed as an emblem of that vessel in which the germs of the new creation were preserved. Almost like the egg of Noah. Wherewith the world was to be sown anew with the man and beast. With the desolation of the deluge, that's the flood, had passed away. So we got some kind of egg giving us life after the flood, and now we got a pomegranate. But research has proven the rima, or pomegranate, had another entirely meaning. So we kept the egg. Now we got the pomegranate, the rima. That was mentioned in the Bible, 2 Kings 5.18. Estarte, there she is again, or Cybelin, C-Y-B-E-L-E-M, was called uh, Adina Mater. Dimmick's Classic Dictionary, sub Vocke, B O C E. And the sacred mount in Padria, most famed for most famed for thee celebration of her mysteries was named Mount Ida. So here's another name of Estarte, Ida. That is in Chaldean, Babylonian, the sacred language of these mysteries, the Mount of Knowledge, Ida Mater. Ida, oh, I, can't, I can't say it now. The college. Uh, something modern. Our mother. Can't think of it. These signifies the mother of knowledge. Ida Mata. You ready? We bypass Noah's Ark. Now wait till you see where we're going with this one. Ida Mata. In other words, our mother Eve, who first coveted the knowledge of good and evil and actually, look at this, purchased it. Where is it saying Genesis 3 or anywhere in the Bible that Eve paid for that fruit? I can see here giving a, a serpent, how much, I mean, a, a, a farmer's market. How much do you want for that fruit or not? It's, when you get into it, it's comical. Because it's not biblical. Purchase it, sold to, sold to desire the price to her, to all her children. That's wrong because the Bible says for man's sin. For, for sin came by man. Death came by one man, Adam. Not by a woman. And we have a second Adam. You know what this says about the woman? It said, no, death and sin came by the woman. So we have a second Eve. Did you get that? They don't have a second Adam, Jesus Christ. They have a second woman, Eve. Today, she's called Mary. And Mary, according to the Romish church, will say, you pray to Mary, not Jesus. That Timothy, uh, Paul's letter to Timothy, we have one meeting between God and man, the man, Christ Jesus, not the woman. And I preached that on the street one day at the farmer's market, and I got some Catholics mad at me. But I says, the man, not the woman. You know why they got mad at me? Because this says they're looking for a second Eve, Mary, the female mediator, which is nowhere in the Bible. You see, they're going outside the Bible for fables that we're reading about right now. And these are historical fables and traditions and superstitions that have nothing to do with the Bible. That's why the Bible, we keep quoting Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word. And when you come up to God at the great white throne, judge, well, God, I believe that uh, Mother Ida, well, watch this, Mother Ida going into the, into the lake of fire that burns forever. And Jesus said, my word shall never pass away. Heaven and earth may pass away, but my word shall never pass away. This garbage will. But not the Bible, not the word of God. So, uh, so here we go. Estarte. 
She keeps showing up at Easter. And as can be abundantly shown, abundant, there is many, many facts was worshipped not only as an incarnation of the Spirit of God. Oh my. As Stargate was called the Holy Spirit. You see where the dubs came in? Now the Holy Spirit is likened to a female. Abundantly shown. You can go find this information in books. Well, we do it in our church for the honor. You're doing it to despise God, despise Jesus Christ, and to despise the Holy Spirit. You got this in your church. You need to get it out, or you need to get out of that church and get into a Bible-believing King James Bible that preaches the truth. Thank God I have one. I got to go 25 miles to get a Bible-believing church in a church that loves us. We see, we see all kinds of these churches on the way. Well, not right now with coronavirus. The mother of, all, of, of mankind. So this woman is started as the Spirit of God has given man, all mankind. Did you get that one? Does not Genesis 2 say that God created man? Does it not say that? And God made Adam, made the man, uh, uh, breathed into his nostrils, became a living soul, became a body soul. And they did not say God, according to this junk. The creator God is a female, the mother of, of mankind. Jesus Christ, the mediator, is a female. And we just read the Holy Spirit is a female, according to this junk. So what's the equivalent of that today? You got women preachers where the Bible says you're not to have them. According to the junk. Or in other words, what I say, crap. I know that's not a bad word. It's a good word. When therefore the mother of the gods. I studied Greek and Roman mythology when I was in high school. I was in door of that stuff. You know what's missing out of the Bible? There's only one God in the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. That's it. And the mother of knowledge was represented by the fruit of, oh, here we go, the pomegranate. So now they're saying that the pomegranate was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You know what it was? I'll, I'll tell you right now. There it is. No 800 number. No semi. I'll tell you exactly what the fruit of the tree of knowledge was. Ready? I don't know. How's that? Perfectly honest. I assume that the, the fruit of the tree of knowledge is a tree that it cannot and will never be found again. And yet you'll find a tree of life in, in heaven. Maybe, you know, I always thought, this is my own personal opinion now, you can throw this in the ground. I always, always thought maybe that tree had one fruit on it. That's what I thought. And you don't have to believe that. Alright, back to this. The pomegranate extended hands, inviting those who ascend to the sacred mount. So here, Adam, have some knowledge, dear. She took the fruit of and ate the fruit there and gave it to her husband that was with her. Genesis chapter 3. In the initiation of her mysteries, can there be any doubt what the fruit was intended to signify? You know, what he's saying is she she's pictured on coins and her statues and her images. She's, she's sitting there and she's got a fruit, a pomegranate in her hand. And she's pictured supposedly E saying, here Adam, have some knowledge. Okay, now we're going to do Estarte. 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 The great goddess of the ancient Middle East, chief deity of Tyre, Sidon, Elat, an important Mediterranean seaport. So Estarte is surrounded the nation of Israel. Asterisk also Astarte, but Ashtoreth, the plural form of the goddess name in Hebrew. 
So when you read asterisk in your Bible, King James Bible, that's a start date. Asterisk is Hebrew. Became a general term denouting goddess or paganism. So the Hebrew word asarte, as asterisk, means goddess, paganism. What do you think it means as Easter in Esther? Because Easter and Esther is asarte and Mary. Esarte, the goddess of war and sexual love. <laughs> he gave her some chocolate. You know what chocolate does, don't you? <laughs> and eggs. Send your children to go get the eggs. That sperm going after the eggs in the churchyard. There we are. Rabbits. You know, they used to kill a rat. Well, they used to, you know, the rabbit died a long time ago. That meant a woman was pregnant. <laughs> Shared so many qualities with her sister, Anna. A-N-A-T-H. That they may originally be the same single deity. Astarte was worship in Egypt. You getting tired of hearing that name? And among the Hittites, they were in the nation of Israel. They were to be kicked out. As well as the Canaan. That's the whole land of Israel. Her Arcadian counterpart was her Arcadian counterpart was ready? Drum roll. Ishtar. There it is. Astarte is asterisk in the Bible. And she's Ishtar. She's also called mispronounced Easter. You're mispronouncing Easter. It should be Ishtar. You spell it wrong. Later she became assimilated with the Egyptian de deities Isis and Hathor. The goddess of the sky and of the woman. And in Greco-Roman she was associated with Aphrodite and Juno. Juno was worshipped in that, that movie, uh, what, what was it, Mike, Michael Caine, no, um, oh, what's that, um, Beetlejuice, a movie about the afterlife. Astarte was connected with fertility, eggs, and sending little boys and girls to go get the eggs, like sperm. Sexual sexuality, uh, honey, have some chocolate. And you thought that was just Valentine's Day. And then if you get pregnant, we'll ask the rabbit. And war. Her symbols were the lion. Oh, the lion as as, our, as the devil thinking about we may devour, devouring his paganism, or the lion, the tribe of Judah, Jesus Christ. The horse, with the Revelation 5, has the Antichrist coming on a horse, the white one. Revelation 19 has Jesus Christ coming back on a white horse. The Sphinx, you mean that, that, that creature has no more nose. The dove, remember they called her the Holy Spirit? And you Christians fall for the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I got the tattoo of the dub on my arm. That's the Holy Spirit. No, it's not. It's Esther Day. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a worker that needs not to be ashamed. A star within a circle indicating the planet Venus. There she is. She has been known as a sanctified morning or evening star. We got to go to the Bible again. The morning or evening star, Venus, that's star day. Revelation 2.28. I will give, the, give unto him the morning star. The only two places in the Bible where the morning star shows up. Revelation 22.16. And I, Jesus, I sent my angel... To testify unto you these things in the churches. I, Jesus, and the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. Now don't you tell me I am full of dust. Jesus said, I am the morning star. They say, Astarte, Ishtar, Venus is 
the morning star. Anti-Christ. Watch out for the 666. Don't take that medicine. It may have the 666. Are you involved in, in Easter? You've already taken the Antichrist. You've taken the name of Jesus, the morning star. According to Revelation 22, I just read it to you. King James Bible. Let's keep going. Uh, the deity takes on many names and forms among different cultures. According to the Canaanite mythology, it is one and the same as astral Babylonian goddess Esther. There she is. Esther is Babylonian. Assyrian. Other major centers of Astarte's worship were in the Phoenician city called Sidon, Tyre, and Bibles. Coins of Sidon portray a chariot in which a globe appears, presumed a stone representing Astarte. A stone represents Astarte? Is not Jesus Christ a rock? Did, did not Paul say that that rock followed him was Jesus? Easter is a celebration of Antichrist, my friend. This is all historical fact, and I'm giving you the names. Of them that write this. She often was depicted on Sidonian coins as standing on the prow of a galley, the ship, leaning forth with her right hand outstretched, being thus the original figureheads of sailing ships. You know, you've seen those old ships where they got the figure of the woman? Estarte. Estar. Easter. Do you know what church I went to all my life as a Polish Roman Catholic? It was a church in New London, Connecticut. It was called St. Mary's of the Sea. There was no sea in New London, Connecticut. There's a river and there's a sound and then the ocean. You gotta see what you see. Asherah, of the mention of Hebrew Bible, was a foreign non jew Judaite goddess. In other words, she had nothing to do with Judaism. The principal goddess of Sidonians and Phoenicians represent the productive power in nature. So there, here we go. Let's go from the scriptures here now. King James. Joshua 9.10 And all that he did to the two kings and Amorites that were in, beyond Jordan, to Sihon the king of Heshen, and to Og the king of Basha, which was Asherah. That's a city. A city given to Asherah. To start there. Joshua 12, 4. To the coast of Og, the king of Bashan, which was the remnant of the giants, and dwelt at Asherah. That's a city given over to Esther. Joshua 13, 12. All the kingdoms of Og the Bashan, which dwelt with reigneth in Asherah. That's a city given to Venus. Asherah Astarte in the Bible had a city given to her. Joshua 13, 31. Half of Gilead and Asherah. That's a city given to take a guess. Astarte. The Hebrew form is Asherah. Uh, Judges 2.13 They forsook the Lord and served Baal. That's the sun god. That's the, the, the chief deity of paganism. Ready? And they served his honey pie, his wife. Let's read it again. Judges 2.13 They forsook the Lord and served Baal and Asherah. Asherah is a pearl form of the name of Astarte in Hebrew. They were celebrating Easter, Esther, uh, Ishtar, in Judges. Nothing new under the sun, the wisest man have ever said. When you are reading Judges 2, and they forsake the Lord and serve Baal and Asherah, that is the name for Esther, that is the name for Ishtar, that is the name for Easter, and I wonder if they had pretty little eggs. And you know what God called that? He called it abomination. Even if you do it in the name of Jesus. Judges 10.6 And the children of Israel did evil 
again in the sight of the Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital O, and serve Baal, that's little gods. Baal is the chief god. Asterisk is the female god. Baal is the baby god from Baal and Asherah. They serve Baal and Asherah. Here she is again. And the gods of Syria, and the gods of Zidon, and the gods of Moab, and the gods of Haman, and the gods of Philistine, and forsook the Lord. Now, if Easter is Estar and Astrid and Estarte, and you are bringing it into your Christian church, it is an abomination, and they forsook the Lord. And if you are worshiping Astrid and Estarte and Easter and Ishtar in your church, you're forsaking God. And we got more. But how's that? Should I keep Easter? What do you think so far? I do it for Jesus Christ. Haven't we seen anti-Jesus Christ? Haven't we seen Jesus Christ become a female? The Holy Spirit become a female? And eggs and all that? Wake up. We're not done yet. 1 Samuel 7, 3. And Samuel spake unto all the house of Israel, saying, If ye do return unto the Lord with all your hearts, I guess they've been separated. You need to repent, Samuel says. Put away the strange gods and asterisk. Prepare your hearts on the Lord and serve him only. Are you celebrating Easter, Estar, Asherah, Estarte? Repent and get right with God. According to a judge, Samuel. According to a prophet, Samuel. 1 Samuel 7, 4, And the children of Israel did put Balaam and Asherah and served the Lord only. How are you doing? 1 Samuel 12, 10, And they cried unto the Lord and said, We have sinned. Because we have forsaken the Lord and served Balaam and Ashtoreth. The children of Israel said, Ashtoreth, Esther, Easter, is a sin. And they repented. How are you doing? This is King James 611 Bible. Oh yeah, you got a modern Bible. Your, your modern Bible is crap. Stop it, stop it. No. First Samuel 31.10 And they put on his armor in the house of Ashtoreth. That's when they killed Saul. Astros gave us victory over Israel. Asterisk in demonology. I didn't go that far. I went I went to mythology. But there's also a demonology where you go a step further. Worse. In the great Duke of Hell is the first hierarchy with Beelzebub and Lucifer. Beelzebub's in the Bible, too. They called Jesus Beelzebub. What were they calling Jesus? Lucifer. Did you know that? You cast out all these, you do all these works in the, in the work of Beelzebub. In other words, you do all this work in Satan, Lucifer. He is the part of the evil trinity. So what's that have to do? This is after him. Esther, Easter. Now here he's likened to a male. Now listen to this. He's a male. You know people don't know what they are today? They don't know if they're male or female. Nothing new under the sun, Solomon said. He's a male figure most likely be named after Mesopotamian gods. Take a guess. No. Not Esther. This is this Esther. Mesopotamian goddess. He's a, he he is a male figure, most likely named after the god Mesopotamian goddess. That's a female. He goddess, the transvestite. Esther. Esther is asterisk. She is mentioned in the Hebrew Bible. I just read it to you in the forms of asterisk singular and asterisk plural. Those places I just read, Asherah, you're reading about a male deity who became a female, and he's likened to Beelzebub. Was he not? She? 
he or she, whatever, it was it not mentioned with Baal? That's associated with your Easter, my friend. That's coming, I think is this Sunday. We're going to have Easter so service. In the name of Beelzebub and Lucifer, Ishtar? Really? Got me shaking. Come I hear Easter in the church, I get shaking. Inanna, I-N-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, Anna with N, is an ancient Mes Mesopotamian goddess associated with sex, war, injustice, and political power. <laughs> oh boy, there goes Sally. Now who does that sound like? Let's start. After it. Doesn't it? Now we're in a mess with that. She was originally worshipped in Sama, S U M E R, and was later worshipped by the Atticans, the Babylonians, the Assyrians, under the name Ishtar. There she is. She was known as the Queen of Heaven. You see how this, you can't say, Stalin, you're wrong. Because all of these are coming into one place. And was the patron goddess of Enema Temple at the city of York, U-R-U-K, which was her main cult center. Ready? She's associated with the planet Venus. And her prominent symbol included a lion. Who was that before? An eight-pointed star. Here we go. And her husband was the god Demusadet, later to be known as Tammuz. Merry Tammuz Day. Don't put Christ in Christmas. He was never there. Maybe Antichrist Christmas. Hey, everything I say is biblical. Ezekiel 8.14, King James Bible. Though he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, God's temple, which was toward the north, and behold, there sat women weeping Tammuz for Tammuz. We read that back there in Lent. Get the first video of these series, and we talked about Lent, and we talked about the 40 days of the women weeping. For Tammuz. Lent and Easter has nothing to do with the Bible. She was especially beloved by the Assyrians. Who elevated her to become the highest deity in their pantheon, Ranking above all their natural god, Asher. So this god we're talking about, which is Estar, Asherah. <laughs> Among the Assyrians, she was the god of all the gods of the gods. I mean, like Mary. Because Mary's higher than Jesus Christ in the Catholic Church. Anna Ishtar is alluded to, to the Hebrew Bible, where she's influenced as a Phoenician goddess, Astaroth. A-S-T-O-R-E-T-A. -E you find her in the Bible. And God says, you're not to follow her. You're to get rid of her and have nothing to do with it. And 2020, if there was no coronavirus, how many churches would be worshiping this? All right, let's go back. Let's go back one here. 2019, how many churches were involved in Lucifer and Beelzebub in the name of Ishtar? Come on, I'm giving you church history here. This is what's lacking in the churches today. This is not what is studied. History. I studied this stuff in high school before I became a, I, I, was, I graduated in 1987. Uh, in, in January 1987, I became saved, a born again Christian in April 1987. I studied this stuff before I studied the Bible. I took classes in a high school. A high school. You can't take classes about Jesus in high school, but I can take classes about this crap. In high school, I know and read this stuff in textbooks. You're not going to tell me. My nickname was Sticks 
S-T-Y-X, the river that was in hell. Okay? That's how much I was into it. I would not lie to you as a born-again Bible-believing Christian. I want you to come out of this mess or mass, and I want you to get right with God. I want you to hear, well done, and you're not going to get well done celebrating Easter. We're going to do it in the name of the resurrection. Pick another day. Pick another day. Don't do it on the pagan day. Well, people go to church on Easter and Christmas. Those are Doesn't that tell you something's wrong? When marvel not the world hates you, they hated Jesus. Jesus said marvel that they, they hated me. And they're going to choose two times to go to church when Tammuz is conceived and Tammuz is born? You ain't dealing with no fool here. All right, so let's see. Astrith, who was later influenced with the development of the Greek goddess, that's what I was into, Greek Roman mythology, Aphrodite, 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 I can't say it, Aphrodite. She was believed to have stolen the mess, M-E-S, or mess, <laughs> mass, mess, which represented all positive negative aspects of civilization. The God of Wisdom. There's that Eve, there she is again, getting, getting the wisdom, knowledge of evil and good. Good and evil. I'm excited because this gets me angry that people fall. They don't know. They don't care to know. I like it. I like it. It's a road to destruction as much as, hey, watch, watch me do this. Famous last words. The name Istar occurs in the element in personal names for both pre-Sargonic and post-Sargonic eras in Assyria and Babylonia. According to the noted Ash, Isar, a man that knows Assyria, Samuel Noah Kramer. Now here's a guy that knows Assyrian. He studied Assyrian. Okay? No moron. I'm giving you the names. I'm giving you the books. I'm giving you everything to do. You can't say Stiley's lying. You can go look it up. If you want to copy this report, if, if, you, if you'll pay for it and the shipping of staples is shipping to you, uh, I'll, I'll get this going to your place. You, you send me the money, I'll get it shipped out to your house. Shipping's a little expensive, but you can order this book. Say, Sally, I want Easter in disguise. I'm not going to. I got one copy right now I'm going to give to a friend. I'm not, I'm not hiding nothing. The kings of Syria would further establish their legitimacy by taking part in a ritual sexual act in the temple of the fertility goddess, Estar, every year on the tenth day of the new year, Festival of Kuda. There's that sexual. In order to be a king, I, I go to her. The Corinthians were having those sex problems of the virgins. So found in the Corinthian church, Paul wrote to Ishtar is a significant impact on the images and cults of many later goddesses, including famous goddesses of love, Aphrodite, and other well-known goddesses such as Astarte. Didn't we do her? Many goddesses from the classical period such as Aphrodite, Artemis, and Athena have continued and functioned in important culture symbols. I've studied all that. I forgot most of it, but I've studied it. Estar Corporate has not in, has not enjoyed yeah, has not enjoyed similar longevity to her image. Estar herself is associated with the sexual body Venus. The morning and evening star, and I read you Revelation 2.28 and 22.16, an antichrist of Jesus in a female form. Esther and her shepherd husband, Tammuz. I am the good shepherd, Jesus said. Here is the antichrist shepherd. I'm not, I'm not lying to you. I am telling you the truth. There's Tammuz. 
His birthday is December 25th. Our divine P-R-O-T-A-G-O-N-I-S-T-S -S, of the one the world's oldest known love stories. Oh. I know a great love story. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Anna, in Anna, Ishtar, appears in royal hymns, several myths, texts of, of prophecy, magic spells. Remember all the Bible verses I gave you about magic? And by the way, there's Christian magicians out there, and you are false. Using magic, the form of the devil, to, to bring the gospel. Foolish abomination. And even Proverbs about Ishtar. Ishtar star, I say that three times. Ishtar star is often depicted alongside a sun disk. Have you seen Mystery Babylon, Babylon, Mystery Babylon, where he will show you the pictures of the sun disk in all the churches of the Catholics? And that sun disk is the representation of the sun god, Baal. And you know you've seen the sun disk because it's around the head of Jesus and the apostles. And it's, it's decorated as halos on angels. That's the sun disk. And it has nothing to do with Bible. Never have, never will. And a crescent-shaped moon symbol. Islam? Is it South or North Carolina? Is it not the picture I've seen in the Catholic Church of Mary standing on the moon? A lot better than Mary standing on the serpent's head, according to Genesis 3.15, which is not Mary, it's Jesus Christ. You can find Catholic pictures of Mary standing on the head of the serpent, and that's supposed to be Jesus Christ, Genesis 3.15. Mary is standing on the moon, according to the interpretation of Revelation chapter 12, which was a dream that Joseph had about his mother, not Mary. Israel. I know what I'm talking about. Representing her brother, the solar deity, the sun god, Shamash. And her father, the moon deity, S-I-N, Sin. That's a perfect name for it. I believe Abraham came out the earth of Jesus. And Abraham was given to the, the worship of the moon. Istar, the world's first known goddess of love, is connected to many forms of emotional intimacy. While her associates certainly include sexual love, it also includes a variety of other types of love, loving bonds, adultery and fornication. Easter is a day that is honored by nearly all contemporary Christians and is used to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. The holiday often involves a church service at sunrise. Uh, I got that one right here somewhere. Alright, sunrise service. Ezekiel 8, 16. I'm giving you the Bible, King James. And he brought me to the inner court of the Lord's house, in the Lord's temple. And behold, the door of the temple of the Lord, where the porch and altar were, about five and twenty men, with their backs toward the temple of the Lord, with their faces toward the east, they worshiped the sun, Toward the east, sunrise service is against the Bible. It worships the sun god and not God the Father. Hey, tell it to the duck. Don't you get something to throw? So, it's if we Easter ham. Wait till we get to the ham. Decorated eggs and story of the rabbit. Estar, which is pronounced Estar, 
not Easter. It's pronounced Esther. Say it with me now, kiddies. Now, come on. Let's go with the talking rabbits, talking to young children. Let's say I. Today's letter is I for Esther. Come on, say it. Esther. Now you got it right. It was a day to commemorate the resurrection of one of their gods that they called Tammuz. Your Easter name service it's not for the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's the resurrection of Tammuz. The Antichrist. Of the real Christ. Who is believed to be the only begotten son of the moon goddess. And the sun god. Tammuz is a god. In those ancient times there was a man named Nimrod. Who was the grandson of one of Noah's sons named Ham? Easter Ham? <laughs> Ham was Ham had a son named Cush who married a who married a woman named Simaranus. I don't know where they got that. Cush and Simaranus then had a son named Nimrod. After the death of his father, Nimrod married his own mother and became a powerful king. This, this is historical information. The Bible tells of this man, Genesis 10, 8 to 10. Cush begat Nimrod. They don't say the mother's name. He began to be a mighty one in the earth, Nimrod. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord, Nimrod. Wherefore, it is even said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel. You know about Babel? They try to build a tower? Steeple? It's not built to God. They just want to get a tower. Go read it. They want to build a tower to heaven, not God. Erech and Echad and Kana in the land of Shinar. You know where Shinar is? A Babylon. Nimrod became a God-man. <laughs> this is historical information written down. To the people of this Cimmerinus. His wife and mother became a powerful queen of ancient Babylon. Nimrod was actually killed by an enemy. And his body was cut into pieces and sent various parts of his kingdom. Didn't a man do that in Judges with his wife after she was raped and abused and died at the... Simaranus had all the parts gathered except for one part that could not be found. The missing part was his reproductive organ. Of all, of all pieces of the body, they couldn't find... Probably on the statue of David. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what I say. Simmeranus claimed that Nimrod could not come back to life without it being told to people of Babylon that Nimrod had ascended to the sun and was now called Baal. When you read Baal in the Bible, who are you reading about? Nimrod. I grew up in school. When they called you a Nimrod, <laughs> that was bad. It was a cartoon character they said they called before he, when he first started. He started out as Nimrod. Um, oh, the one that used to hunt. Uh, oh, Bugs Bunny. Oh, yeah. What's his name that used to hunt Bugs Bunny? His name was Nimrod in the beginning. Can't think of it now. Queen Simonares also proclaimed that Baal would, present, would be present on the earth in the form of a flame. You seen that in the Bible? Whether a candle or a lamp. Revelation 1. When used in worship. That's why Catholics like candles. See a Catholic can't get over me. I studied that crap. I officially took the, cate the Catholic catechism. I got it over here somewhere. Yeah, can't find it. But I got the Catholic catechism over here. I studied it. Even after I was a Catholic. That's where they get candles. Simaraz was 
Create, you know, mystery religion. Babylon, mystery Babylon. Get the book. Read it. To say that Stalin is not lying to you. And with the help of Satan, oh, she set herself up as a goddess. She made herself a goddess. And Satan helped her. Simmerez claimed that she was immaculately conceived. Guess who that is? Though Mary never said it, the Catholic Church, immaculate concept. Uh, I can't think. Simmerez has another name according to the Catholic Church Mary. Not the biblical Mary, the Catholic Mary. She taught that the moon was a goddess that went through a 28 day cycle and ovulated when full. That can't help that. She further claimed that she came down from the moon, a giant moon egg fell into the Euphrates River. Babylon. This false religion comes out of Babylon and Egypt. Get it? The two Babylons, I got it right here. And Babylon, Mystery Babylon, and I got it somewhere up there. And if you want a headache, get Babylon, Mystery Babylon. That will, that will take time to read. You will have to read some of those pages three, four, or five times before you get it. It's giving you a warning. Should be read. These two books should be read by pastors. Ought to be. This was to happen at the time of the first moon, full moon in the spring equinox. Simeras became known as Esther, which is pronounced Easter. So they'll even tell you in the historical book, Easter is not the proper pronunciation. And her moon egg became known as Esther's egg. What do we call it today? Come on, kiddies. Easter eggs. I get some moon pies, too. I hate those things. Esther soon became pregnant and claimed that it was the rays of the sun god Baal that caused her to conceive. Luke chapter 1. The son that she brought forth was named Tammuz. Tammuz was noted to be especially fond of rabbits. <laughs> Come on, you can't see this? Let me smack you in the head with a, with a sledgehammer. Sit you down and read the Bible to you. And they became sacred in the ancient religion. Because Tammuz was believed to be the son of the sun god, Baal. Where did the Easter Bunny come from? There it is. Babylon. You bite off their ears so they can't hear you. Then you get the feet so they can't run away. Tammuz, like his supposed father, became a hunter. The day came when Tammuz was killed by a wild pig. Queen Esther told the people that Tammuz was now extended to his father, Baal, and that the two of them would be worshippers of the sacred candle or lamp flame of it as his father, son, and spirit. You know what that's called? That's called the eternal flame. You want to find one? You go to where John F. Kennedy's buried. That's the eternal flame. You ever notice when you go by a candle, uh, go by a can you go by a cemetery, you see candles in the middle of the night? There it is. That's the Roman Catholic. I grew up Roman Catholic. I paid my money to burn a candle for someone in, in hell or purgatory. I used to do that. I know what I'm talking about. I went up to the priest. F, you know, I won't say the other word for dad. Fontaine. I says, I says, sir, I says, what's this little box in the candle? He said, you put money in there, and you burn a candle for somebody that is in purgatory. So I put money in a little box. I take the thing, light the, light the fire with, with one of the candles. I burn a candle. I was a good Catholic. Going to hell. to I met Jesus Christ. Esther, who was now worshipped as mother of God and queen of heaven, 
Ask your Catholic friend about that. They will tell you, yes, that that host is the little body and is Jesus Christ. And they will tell you, yes, Mary is the queen of heaven. And we showed you the Bible verses. And continue to build her mystery religion. Babylon, mystery, Babylon. That's what that whole book's about. You don't think I'm telling you the truth? Get mystery, Babylon, mystery. Babylon, mystery, Babylon. And it will back up everything I'm telling you right now. The queen told the worshippers that Tammuz was killed by a wild pig. And some of his blood fell on a stump of an evergreen tree. And the stump grew into a full new tree overnight. Now we're coming to, wow, it's been 50 minutes already. Take a little pause here. Got to make another video. It's going on YouTube, so let me...